hello xlookup and goodbye vlookup index match and all the other lookup functions. But is that actually the case? Let's find out in this video where I also walk you through how to actually use xlookup step by step. Let me first show you how to actually do what vlookup does with xlookup instead so you don't have to use vlookup ever again. And if you're new to lookup functions, here's what it does. Let's say your boss sends you this list of order numbers and she wants you to find out who sold those orders. Luckily, you have an order database and you can look through that order database manually, but it will take a while. Instead, you use a lookup function to look for the specific order number from your primary sheet, which is the one you received from your boss, and look for that order number in the order database and look to the right and find the sales representative and return that name over here. And you want to do that with multiple order numbers like that and then the job's done. In Excel, it looks like this. Here we have the order numbers where we need to find the sales representatives who sold them. And here we have the list of all the orders. So the order database, right? Equal X lookup, open parenthesis. And here we have this syntax. And maybe you have looked at this before and you were a little bit scared because it's so long and it looks pretty complicated. But the beauty of XLOOKUP is that it's actually quite simple to use, much simpler than VLOOKUP. And by the way, towards the end of the video, I'll explain to you two reasons why XLOOKUP is always better than VLOOKUP for all users, not just in specific niche cases, but for everyone. But also one very important reason why it may not be better than VLOOKUP and why VLOOKUP is actually better. Let's find out towards the end of the video, make sure to watch that. So the lookup value is what we are looking for, the first part of the syntax here. And that is the order number. We're looking for the order number over here. And I already answered what's the next uh, argument's gonna be. So write a comma to separate the arguments. And then the lookup array here is where we are looking for the lookup value. And that is column A, comma. The return array is what we wanna get back, what we wanna return with the xlookup function. And that is the sales representatives and those are found in column B over here. And that's actually it. End parenthesis, and this is how you do a lookup with xlookup. It's super easy. Lookup value, where you are looking and what you wanna return, that's it. Hit enter and there we have it. No more true or false or exact matches or whatever complicated things that were in VLOOKUP. This is the new way to do it. And that's pretty cool, huh? If you like this video so far, please hit the like button and the subscribe button, more importantly, to support the channel. Thanks. So let's dive into why this is good and why this may be not so good. Obviously, one of the reasons why XLOOKUP is better is that it's so easy to use. Maybe the syntax looks complicated, but it actually isn't because as you can see, there are these brackets around most of the arguments, meaning they are optional. So you can just use the three first arguments and that actually replicates whatever you can do with VLOOKUP, at least VLOOKUP with exact match. So this is a much easier version of VLOOKUP actually. And that is something that is great for all users of XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP. This is better on all parameters than VLOOKUP. There are plenty more advanced options in these arguments, in these uh, optional arguments that you can use, and you can use those to build XLOOKUP into this amazing complicated uh, version of a lookup function that does all kinds of things. But for the majority of people, those would be quite niche and not something you would need to use all the time. This is something you need to use all the time. And on that parameter, it is much better than VLOOKUP. Now, the other reason why it's better than VLOOKUP is that it's really robust. It actually has a lot of the same benefits as index match has because it's so robust. And let me show you that in an example. Now we have the, uh, the XLOOKUP here and down here, we're gonna use the VLOOKUP function to do the same. So lookup uh, values over here, table array is over here. Let's just do this. 
and the column index number is two and false. That is a VLOOKUP that does exactly the same as this one up here. Let's actually just copy this uh, down here so it gives the same result. Now, if we insert a, co uh, a column here, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna insert a column like this. And now you can see that something happens. The XLOOKUP function is exactly the same. It looks for this cell, the, the value in this cell over here, and then it returns the sales representative corresponding with sales representative from over here in column C now. Now, before it was column B, but because we inserted a column, it moved to column C. So it automatically adapted to this new structure in the file. Now, VLOOKUP didn't do that because that is based on a, a specific hard-coded value that is the column index number. Now, obviously the Excel expert out there who's watching this will know that you don't have to do it like this, but most people do it like this when using the VLOOKUP function. So it is a, a disadvantage for almost all VLOOKUP users here. So the column where we want to return something from is still column number two, but the table array increased. So we are returning something from a blank column and that gives zero over here and that's a problem. So this is also why um, XLOOKUP is so much better. And this exact reason also gives another benefit and that is that we don't need to look up in the leftmost column of the table array. Let's look over here. Now we have the same example, but I changed the order of the columns. So the order numbers are in column B now and the sales representatives are in column A. That's uh, switched around from uh, this example over here where we had it in the order number uh, here and the sales reps here. Now VLOOKUP can't do that. VLOOKUP look for the lookup value here and we're going to look in the table array like this but it needs, uh, the, the lookup values needs to be in the leftmost column of the table array. And the leftmost column is column A. Okay, sure. Then why don't we just move it to column B instead? Sure, let's do that. But the problem with that is that the uh, values we want to return also needs to be in those, uh, in the table array. And there's no way it can actually be like that when the structure of the sheet is like this. So instead, XLOOKUP does the job just fine, just like index match does. You can find the lookup value uh, over here in the lookup array, and the lookup array in this case is column B, and the uh, return array is column A, sure. It's just switched around, and there's uh, no disadvantages of the structure uh, being like that when you use XLOOKUP or index match for that sake. So those are two benefits and two reasons why XLOOKUP is going to kill, on the long term at least, going to kill VLOOKUP. But there's a big reason why it haven't done that already. And that is the disadvantage of using XLOOKUP over VLOOKUP, and that is the missing backwards compatibility. XLOOKUP works in Excel versions from 2021 and later. So Microsoft 365 users, and if you have the standalone Excel version or installation of uh, 2021, you're good to go. But there's a lot of people who doesn't have those versions, at least now here in 2024. On the long term, it will be evened out and people will obviously buy the new versions. So someday it will not be an issue. But if you use XLOOKUP like this, and you send this file to someone who doesn't have Excel 2021 or Microsoft 365 or obviously in the future, newer versions of Excel, then that person won't be able to actually use the XLOOKUP function you, you, you have and they will just receive an error. So that's a big problem with XLOOKUP right now. So you gotta make sure that whoever you are sending the file to is also on a quite new version of Excel. And that's a big disadvantage. And that is also why VLOOKUP is still to this day, one of the most popular functions of Excel. Now I did tease you about some of the advanced features of XLOOKUP and you can learn all about those up here in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day, bye.